Okay, so I always say uh, the, they're rated top 10 best wings in America by, by Yahoo Sports. Oh, and the Daily Meal. All right, I, I, ironically, I trust the Daily Meal way more than I do Yahoo Sports. Okay, everybody, this menu's pretty killer. All right, here's how it works. The first row is no heat. Second row is, as you can see here, is mild. Third row wings is medium. Oh, that maple chipotle, that's high. I just ordered a high one, whoops. Yep. And then really hot is yep. this. That's the loot column. But I mean, look at it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through here. You guys wanna just like stop the, the video? I like to just scan the menu real quick. Uh, spicy garlic's supposed to be really good. I'm not a salt and vinegar guy. Ooh, that Pete's barbecue looks so good. I wanted to try that one too, dude. All right, let's, I'm, I gotta save room because we got other videos well, we're shooting. you can order extra sauces for 50 cents. Okay. Five pieces, seven dollars. That's a lot of money. Just so you know. Yeah, it is. All right, and uh, one of the things we're, we're doing on all of our food wars is uh, value, cost value is important. So I think that's paying a paying dollar, a little over a dollar a piece for a five piece. Where we at not just to give you an idea, we paid ten dollars in knots and we got fourteen pieces or seven whole wings. These wings came out in I would say four minutes, if that. Not even. What the heck are they doing? I don't these know. things were already these wings were already cooked, dude. It was too fast. Dude, that was that was less than four minutes. Alright, let's take a look at yours. Alright. And you have the Diablo? Yeah. These I guess. things, I'm seeing burnt ends there. Yeah, these things came out. These are pre cooked. That it green. actually looks good. And the Green Lantern. Warm, it's tender. It's got a little crunch to it. The heat's nice. If you haven't, uh, Try that. Try this side of it. Try that. That's not tender. That's not moist. That's dried out. Okay, so a lot of these are tough. We've been eating them, and the sauces, the sauces are top notch, really good. But look, look, this has a broken bone. That was broken when I bit into it, which means it's been overcooked. Um, your Diablo sauce is really good. It's burning my tongue right now. Yeah, it, Diablo sauces were great. A couple of the pieces were really nice and tender. A couple of them were really, really um, chewy. Right. Okay, so you're at the beach, fine. Jack me on price, but don't ever give me pre-cooked wings. Hello, Buffalo Wild Wings, that's what they do. I didn't like it at all. I, their sauces, amazing. But you can't cover up crappy wings, okay? So that was just kind of an insult to get your wings in like under four minutes. There's no way those were cooked fresh. So, uh, so I'm ripping them on that uh, and their price, and that's about it. Uh, I had higher hopes for this. The reason why I'm upset is because I had such high hopes. I heard great things about them. So would I come back? No, I wouldn't come back. So anyway, let's see what Lou has to say. Well, after the first wing, things kind of slid a little bit. You guys got to see me eating the first one. And the first one must have been that magic wing that was sitting in the middle of the pile of wings sitting there for a while. They cooked those things up in two, three minutes. I mean, we were just filming the intro, just finished filming the intro, and the wings came out. That's not right. But, like Jack said, they had great sauces. Um, if they were cooking their wings fresh, and we had to wait 15, 20 minutes for cook, I don't mind. I don't think anybody minds. People want fresh food. So, bottom line is, I don't, we graded them at 30, which is a big knockoff. You know, but if in Pacific Beach, I would stop again. The sauce is tremendous. The only one thing that 
did bother me is that they advertise the PBJ wings on their website, but they don't have them on the menu anymore. So uh, I guess Make-A-Wish doesn't get that money. So would you say that the 10 best in America? No, definitely not the 10 best in America. And uh, But we're still looking. So you guys keep coming back to the next uh, Jack on the Go show. And we'll see if we can find that top 10.